Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is t to the power of 3 plus t, this is equal to 30. So what are the values of t? Now let's provide a solution from here. So we have t to the power of 3 plus t, this is equal to 30. So the first step to do here is to take 30 on the left hand side so that we have t to the power of 3 plus t minus 30. This is equal to 0. Now, this implies that here we can express this as t to the power of 3 plus t minus 30. Minus 30, this is the same thing as minus 27 minus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, we can express 27, this is the same thing as 3 to the power of 3. So we have t to the power of 3 plus t minus 3 to the power of 3 minus 3. Remember this is 3 raised to the power of 1, this is equal to 0. So we have t to the power of 3 and 3 to the power of 3 here. So we can write this as t to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3, then plus t minus 3, this is equal to 0. Now from here we have got two parts here, we have got two parts here. From the first part here, this is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3. This is the difference of two cubes that we can express as a minus b into the parenthesis this is a squared plus a times b then plus b to the power of 2. Now this implies that t to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 this can be expressed as t minus 3 into the parenthesis this is t squared plus 3t then plus 3 squared which is 9 so that now we have t minus 3 this is t squared plus 3t plus 9 then plus this is t minus 3 this is equal to 0 now if you check here we have t minus 3 is common, so we can factor out t, subtract 3. Into the parenthesis, here we have t squared plus 3t plus 9, then plus, now here we have 1, cross the parenthesis, this is equal to 0. Now, from here, we have got two parts here. The first part is t minus 3, this is equal to 0. And the second part here, we have t to the power of 2 plus 3t, then plus 9 plus 1, this is 10, then this is equal to 0. From the first part here, we have that t1, this is actually equal to 3, and this is a real solution here. Now, the second part here, we have a quadratic equation of the form a t squared plus b t plus c, this is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation here, we have that a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and that c is equal to 10. Now, to solve for t2, comma t3, we apply the quadratic formula which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac everything here divided by 2 times a now let's substitute the values of a b and c in this formula here so that now here we have minus 3 plus or minus we have the square root of b squared this is 3 squared minus 4 
times a which is 1 then times c which is 10 everything here this is divided by 2 multiplied by 1 so that now here we have this is minus 3 plus or minus we have the square root of 3 squared this is 9 subtract this is 4 times 10 and this is minus 40 everything here divided by 2 times 1 which is equal to 2 now the next step here we have minus 3 plus or minus we have the square root of 9 minus 40 this is minus 31 everything here divided by 2 now we can express the square root of minus 31 as this is minus 3 plus or minus now this is the same thing as the square root of 31 multiplied by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 so here we have minus 3 plus or minus the square root of 31 now the square root of minus 1 this is the same thing as i so the square root of minus 1 this is the same thing as i so we have square root of that one i everything here divided by 2 so this is what is t2 comma t3 so this implies that t2 this is equal to minus 3 plus square root of 31 i this is 31i divided by 2. And we have that t3. This is minus 3 minus square root of 31i. Everything here divided by 2. So these are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions for this algebra problem. So we only have one leave solution here, which is t1. And t1 in this case is equal to 3. And this is the only real solution that we have. So let's verify that this real solution here satisfies the equation. Now let's verify that this real solution here satisfies the equation. Now, if you recall, we end that t to the power of 3 plus t this is supposed to give us a value of 30 now let's substitute t equal to 3 so we have 3 to the power of 3 then plus 3 this is supposed to give us a value of 30 so this implies that 3 to the power of 3 this is 27 then plus 3 this should give us a value of 30 so this means that 27 plus 3, this is 30, which is equal to 30. So therefore, the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this affirms that the value of t, which is 3, satisfies the equation. So this algebra problem, we have three solutions here. One real solution and two complex solutions. So can you refer the steps? Like this video and subscribe please like this video and subscribe like this video and subscribe see you in the next video bye bye for now